Hi guys. All right, so I'm gonna put some Valentine's cards together. You may have saw in some previous videos, I made all of these um, kind of like Valentine's heart themed backgrounds. Some of them are foiled, some of them are just cut out. Um, but I need to really kind of put these together into some cards here. So like this one's pretty much done. This was a hot foiling one, this is done. This one's done, but like on this one, I'd like to put some kind of sentiment or something. So I think that those are not finished. I have some pre-made backgrounds here. Some are foiled. Okay, lots of them are foiled. Some are, there's some more hearts. Okay, here's one that was stenciled. And then these are hot foiled. So these I'm considering done. And then, you know, sometimes I just make stuff and put it in a pile, which is what I've done here. And I just need to finish it off. So I want to start with, now this I think is sold out, but you can check over at Creative Vision Stamps. It's the Valentine's kit. I know she doesn't have very many left, but you can find other manufacturers that have similar types of um, sentiments. Um, somewhere I have the Gina K one too for backgrounds. But what I wanted to show you guys today was just, again, putting these together. So yes, we are going to be foiling. I know you guys love that. And I am going to be cutting these out with heart dies. And we're just going to, we're going to foil stuff. Okay. So let me try to speed things along here. Less talky, more foiling, Nancy. We have a couple little hearts here we need to foil to. And I can see they're die cut pretty deep, so they may not foil exactly, but that's okay. I really just want these sentiments. Here's the backgrounds that come with that kit. I'm not really looking for the backgrounds. I want to cut these out. So I'm going to use my heart dies. I'm sorry, I don't know who they're made by. I've had them in my stash for a very, very long, long time, so forgive me. Oh, that's too, I think it's gonna be this size. So what I like to do is put the die down, figure out what size I need, and cut as close to the die as I can because if I'm going to die cut the one next to it and I use a bigger die, I don't want to lose the integrity of the one next to it because I didn't cut this one close enough to the die. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these out. I'm gonna run them through my Gemini. I am gonna use purple tape because last time I did it, my dies slid and didn't cut around because I was being lazy. So I am gonna do some purple tape. I'm gonna purple tape it, try not to touch any of the actual part that's gonna get foiled, the, the toner, printed parts there. I'm just going to stick it on the outside of the die there. Get a little sandwich together. Now while I'm getting the die cutting prepared, my mini mink is off to the side here. It's heating up. It's on number three. Now of course you don't have to, to use your heart die cut. These are kind of big, so I don't think I want to use my heart die cut on those. I'll probably cut those out with like a rectangular die, so I'll put those aside for now. Let me see here. And then we'll go through and we'll foil them together, and I will show you how I'm going to assemble them. Okay, so that needs to be foiled. Also leave them black. You don't have to foil them, but I think foiling makes everything prettier.
Don't forget you can also ink these. Um, you don't have to foil them. You can put ink over them. See, now this die is not big enough for the rest of these. So I think I will go to the rectangular die. And of course, you can cut out out of the toner sheets the word love and foil it to match, which I might do in a minute. Let me grab some of these guys here. Let's see if this one will fit in here. Nope. These are stitched rectangle dies, which I believe I got from my favorite things. So we'll do a couple of these and then we'll move on to foiling. We'll use some of the, I'll mix up the foil, some of the newer colors and some of the older colors. If you got a chance to get some of the new foils, you are very, very lucky. The owner, Laura of Blue Night Rubber Stamps, is retiring, so um, she, she has uh, sold her company, so she got brought out a couple of limited edition colors, and once they're gone, they're gone. All right, let me see here. I think we can do one more of these, and then this other little one, I just wanna do a little banner cut. And then we will get to card making. I know, I should have pre-cut these. I'm sorry, guys, but I wanted to show you my process here. You can press the right side of the screen, two little double taps, and it will, um, fast forward for you guys. If you miss anything, if you tap, double tap the left side of the screen, it will rewind a few seconds for you guys. So if you miss anything. I know some people like to see everything, some people don't. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way now. Always keep your foilables in their packaging. Um, keep your foils in the packaging. You want to keep the dust off of them. Dust is the enemy of foiling. And I know I'm kind of working in a hurry here, but normally I would try to keep my surface area pretty clean, um, wipe everything down because any kind of glitter or embossing powder that's on my desk that sticks or scratches the foil will affect the foiling. These have um, pretty forgiving looks, so we don't really need to worry about it. Okay, so the next step is before I apply any of the foil is to figure out um, what color I want the foils to be, where do I want them to go. There's an extra piece of toner that I'm going to cut out the word love. Ooh, is that going to fit? Might fit. fit right there.
I'm gonna be careful when I push this through that my pokey tool doesn't scratch it. So I poked out all the center pieces first and then we have the rest of the die cut there and that's cut out that's cut out of the solid toner sheets so we can do any color so for example this was using the light pink this was using silver I think I want to do the light pink on here back in then we want to use the carrier sheets okay so since the sponge is sold out I'm just gonna show you guys using a little brush again I just want to dust off the back of the foil dust off my toner piece this one we're going to run through and it will be the sentiment for that card. I'll bring this in so you guys can watch it go through. Okay, so then I have all of these other background pieces and I really just need to pick out pieces to assemble them. Ooh, so like this one is really cute for a background. I could just put this on there. So let me cut this down to, let's see what card front size I can get out of this. I can do five and a quarter by four. Well, it's almost five inches by five and a quarter so if I do five and a quarter then I can do by four yeah so that would be card front size I can do this little heart maybe slice off a little piece of it that looks cute so this is how I do my card making guys I don't always have an idea when I make something like I said I will just sit down and you guys saw me make a whole bunch of these and then just kind of throw them in a pile and then I get back to them later so I'm gonna offset this heart a little bit I shouldn't have put so much glue on it I'll let that sit I'm gonna turn it upside down so that the glue doesn't stick to everything just move that over there so that one was cute. I even keep these little side pieces because you never know when you're gonna use those. So now we have our sentiment foiled. We always wanna wait for it to cool so that it has proper adhesion. And that is cute. Now I'm gonna get my fine point glue here. Apparently having the needle in there did nothing. Okay, I won't be using that glue. Way to go, Nance. Nope, that did not help. Okay, we'll just use our regular glue. Okay. I'm gonna glue that to the bottom here. Okay, and that all matches, so we'll let that dry. What else do we have here? Okay, so we have these cool backgrounds that we made. Where is, I like this one, it's very masculine. What can we put on here? So like we can take these and put them on there and do matching foil or do a different color foil. I think this would look really good with like a gold foil on top of it because that's very masculine. Let's put some gold on it to make it pop. This is called Pirate's Chest. I should 
have probably did a better job at measuring that. Oh, winging it works. Sometimes. I wish I could play music for you guys because I normally do have music going, but then YouTube says I'm doing copyright infringement when I do that, so can't do that. So again, I'm just gonna dust off my foilable, dust off the back of the foil, put them together. Folded side of the carrier sheet always goes in first. So that takes care of that guy. We'll glue that on when it comes out. Okay, so let's see, what else do we have? All right, so we have these cute ones. You can even double layer these, but then I'd be covering up all that beautiful foil. So, now this foil has some imperfections in it, so we can do this. out. This was using the transfer gel and going through a stencil. So it is not exactly perfect. And I don't want to use the same foil. I want to use a different color. Maybe a more plain foil. That foil has a lot of sparkle to it. How about we do a silver sparkle to set off all of the red sparkle. This one is called New Year's Eve. Where is the beginning? And what's great is, again, if you were able to get some of these foils, 25 feet of foil. Can't say no to that. Brush off the back side of the foil. Brush off the foilable. See that one had dirt on it. Grab a carrier sheet. Run that through. So that will go with that one. Okay. Let's see how this one looks. Perfect, and I always keep my scraps too. That is so cute. And I don't wanna glue it down because it's so cute, I want to put it on some foam dots. And give it a little bit of dimension. Once I have all these card panels done, all I have to do is just attach them to cards, card fronts. That one's done, pretty easy. Okay, this one just came out while we're waiting. Let's look at another one. Oh, this one's cute. See, then I feel like we're covering up too much of the hearts. See, this would look cute on here, but that's because these hearts came out so dark. Maybe we do this one on there. We need something bright on there. This new one called Salmon, that is going to match perfectly with that. Really pretty.
beautiful. There's one little spot there that didn't foil. I will go in and fix that. And that silver sparkle goes well with the red sparkle. Offset that a little bit. Pretty. Now to fix that little blip that I missed, Take my little Zig two-way glue pen, put a little dot of glue in there. And just give that a second to dry, and then we will go and fix that. This is the salmon. We're going to give that a second to cool down so we have proper adhesion. Okay, what other backgrounds do we have here? This blue one. Oh yes, this this little heart can go on here. So see, we can just glue. We can cut that and glue it on there a little bit, and maybe run this one through an embossing folder. I'm thinking, or you know what else we can do with this? Any of that extra foil we had left over. done some double uh, foiling with this one. Here we go. We're going to use all of these little hearts right here for this guy. That's what we'll do. Okay, so this is the salmon. Now that one came out perfectly. You want a good strong glue when you're gluing on top of glitter. And then I like to put heavy stamping block on there to give that some weight. So we'll let that dry over there. We're going to take these little hearts and we're going to do them in this, the new Caribbean foil. Let's see here. Yeah, because that looks really cool. Actually, I kind of like that. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Have some spare pieces of foil right here. So we're gonna dust off the back side of the foil. We're gonna dust off our little hearts. Now, like I said, these are gonna come out a little bit. Some of them are a little distressed just because of how the dye pressed into the heart. That's not gonna completely foil, but it'll still be okay. And we're gonna do Let's just do two of them, so that we have three hearts, one, two, three, in this foil. There we go. Do that, so we'll just glue those on there. That'll look cool. And it's even cool that it's kind of distressed looking. All right, so this is the one I need to fix. That glue is dry now. You know it's dry because it goes from white to clear. So we take a little edge of the foil and just kind of rub it on that glue, burnish it in really well, and then pull that foil off. And now it covered up my mistake. So that one's done. We have our little hearts here. I want to give them a second to cool and stick. So we'll do those in a second. It's another one of these deco foiled ones. We can go this way. We'll put some. Let's do that. Um, the new gold. Here we go. This is called Sandstorm, and I think the gold and the red just really look cool together. So we'll do some Sandstorm all there. I like 
doing foiling because number one, the effect is amazing. I mean, you, people are always amazed when they realize you made this and then they, they start asking questions. How did you do that? Because they just assume since you're a card maker that all you're doing is rubber stamping they have no idea the possibilities, you know, of the things that we have at our fingertips. So I love that, you know, the surprise factor. The other thing, you know, obviously the bling that it adds to the cards, it really stands out. It looks different. It kind of makes your cards look a little more expensive. So that's always cool as well. Um, and it's easy. There's no mess. If I turned everything off and walked away right now, there's no ink on my fingers. I mean, I can go to work and not have to worry about my hands looking dirty. So it's just cool. Okay, so these little hearts are done. on okay this one we're gonna let cool down that's gonna go on up there that one's done okay so let's do one or two more and then we will be done It's going to take a little bit of a block to hold it down, but we'll get that done. Some glue on here. That under the block. Let's reveal this one. That's pretty. Okay, one more left to do. Let's find a cool background to put it on. All right, so here's one that I tried to do the foiling through the embossing folder. As you can see, it did not work, complete fail. So I just took some of the um, the luster polish, the opal polishes, and put that on the front there. And I can do that right over it. That's going to look really pretty. And I'm going to use that salmon again. I think that really looks nice with this. Actually, no. This is uh, Mama's Nana's Roses, that pink color we used before. We'll put that on there. And like I said, some of these are available at Creative Vision Stamps. Some of them may be sold out already. The owner is retiring, so what's left is left. But I want to show you guys, I know a lot of you did order just, you know, what kind of stuff you can do with them. I don't want you to get intimidated because it really is easy to do foiling and make such beautiful cards. And you can see this didn't take too long just to put everything together foil it and then all we have to do is glue them to card fronts. I think that will be our last one for now. I still have plenty of pieces left over to continue to put stuff together. 
we can always use these on the inside too. So I just keep them all in a little pile and oh, there's two more hearts. I embellish as I go along. So let's see what we've got done here. I'm gonna move my mini mink out of the way, turn that off, let it cool down. Okay, so this one's still drying, but it had that um, Gina K glitter heart background through this through this stencil um, glitz gel, and then I had a blue. This is the new um, Caribbean. Let me give you the right name here. Barrier Reef barrier reef um, foil and then a little love that I die cut now I have a little bit of glue hanging out there it's not a problem you just clean that up with a craft knife and or your little pokey tool whatever you have it'll all dry clear so no one's gonna really notice it there we go so I just clean that up but I want to just leave my block on there to have it help it dry a little more flat this one is the sentiment with Nana's roses over that opal polish background oh and I love that this um, font is like a brush script so even though I have some of this opal polish in the background there let's see we can cut this down to five and a quarter by four. Oh yeah he can cut some of that some of that mess off of there now it's not as sloppy looking and this will look super cute on there and again I'm leaving these plain but you can go in and you can distress them so now that's ready to go on a card front I could actually even let me take one of these little hearts. I think this would look super cute with another heart on there. So I'm going to turn my mini mink back on. This is just one of those extra mini hearts that I had um, foiled the other day. And I want to use that same color foil. Just brush off the corner there. Brush off our little die cut. And we'll run that through and we'll have a little embellishment heart that we can put on there so that one's pretty much done this one's cute I think I'm gonna leave it alone I really don't have anything extra to put on there so that one's cute we can leave that one alone this one is also cute this one and on this one, I would use some kind of patterned background. So maybe I have a patterned background that's not so pretty and we just want it to peek through. We can cut this panel down. Let's say we cut this down to five by three and three quarters. I think we can manage that. Might have to cut a little bit of the heart off. We'll see here. A tiny bit. Okay. I have all these other panels which didn't come out the prettiest, but I didn't want to waste them. You know that we can we can frame these on on there now I wouldn't do silver and gold but like I said I have other ones we can use so that'll be fine we just have to glue that together let's look at some other ones we have here our little heart well, perfectly foiled Oh no, I got a boo-boo. I 
guess we know where that heart's going now. I don't even know how that got on there. All right, so I'm going to put this on a little pop dot. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. It came off of this one. Eh, doesn't matter. I'll make another one for the other card. I have to make it for this card. That's okay. We'll get back to it. All right, so here's one. Here's another. I like this one because it's really masculine looking. And then I have this heart that I'll put on the inside of the card. So I'll keep those together and we'll put that on the inside of the card. This one you guys already saw. This one I need to just trim the edge down now that the glue is dry. So there we go, that looks cute. So I mean, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know, I really don't do very many Valentine's cards because, honestly, um, just the kids make them for school. And here, I very quickly threw some together that now I just need to put on card fronts, and it did not take very long at all. And it's just because I made so many of them previously, and now all I have to do is just gather everything, glue it together, and we have some cards out of it. So just to go through them again. And I still have extra pieces from the other cards we made. These are the centers to those, um, what do you call it, the mermaid cards. So just to show you guys again, this is the, the Glitter Glitz. And I think I have two cards. I had two card parts over here. So now I just need to make a bunch of um, card bases up. Putting a lot of glue on this one because this panel warped a little bit. Okay, so we'll let that one dry. Okay, so this one's cute. This one we just need to put a little sentiment or something on. Oh, that would even look cute. Oh yeah, because this has purple and blue in it and then it's foil on top of foil. Ooh, ooh. You guys, that's so pretty. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. So we're going to let that glue, and then I'll just cut that edge off and then put that on a card front. Pretty. And I have these guys, which I'm not 100% in love with, but I'm, I, I'll am i figure it out. These are my little boo-boo cards. So I'll go through, and I will fix them, and I'll use them some way, somehow. Great, like I said, for background layering. Um, for this one, again, I just need to put the little love at the bottom there. And that'll look cute, maybe not in this color. So that one will be done, just like this one is done. This one. I might do another heart in that same foil and then just pop it up so it's like a dimensional heart. So that would look really cute. So this is it here. Put that on there. You know what? I am going to do that. Well, we got to save that heart for the other one, but I'll get back to it. And then we have this one. I will put this little heart on the inside of the card. That one is cute. This one is cute because, like I said, it has that distress edges here, and it has that brush stroke there. And then this one is cute. So you don't need to really have a lot of stamps and supplies and things like that. If you just have a couple of foiling things, you can do that too. I know a lot of people are intimidated by foiling. Um, just have fun with it. And even the pieces that don't come out perfectly, 
don't have to come out perfectly. Again, the person that um, receives this is going to love the fact that you made it for them. And that's what makes this so special. You didn't go and spend money at Hallmark. You took the time and effort out of your day to create something beautiful for someone. And if you wanted to, you can embellish more with ribbon and sequins and um, all kinds of fun stuff. So there we go, guys. I know this video was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but hopefully you picked up something new with making some quick and easy Valentine's cards using some foiling, no stamping. These came out super cute. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. And as always, keep on foiling. Bye-bye.